Good evening from Boston, Massachusetts. My name is Frank Allen. Tonight, I report on atrocities amidst the COVID-19 pandemic from the Republic Broadcasting Network. You can call into the show live and ask a question at 800-313-9443 or listen at 605-313-0163. And the first tragedy that we see here The Spanish military has found older residents of some care homes completely abandoned and even dead in their beds. And this is coming from Defense Minister Margarita Robles in a television interview on Monday. They were found as soldiers disinfected and provided emergency health care services this week to residential homes across the country. Robles did not give an exact figure for the number of dead bodies found by Spanish soldiers. And good evening, Marilyn. Marilyn is a T.I. from Ohio, and I am a T.I., from Boston, and together we are fighting remote neural monitoring and voice to skull, and we are doing very well at it, I think. Go ahead, Marilyn. Hey, um, so it's unfortunate that, um, the planet has been uh, uh, attacked with this uh, COVID-19, and um, it's sad about Spain. And uh, I'm sure that this is going to occur again. Um, fear uh, about being uh, contaminated by, uh, you know, the dead and the dying. These people, these elderly people left behind, that's, cool. that's, that's sad. It's quite sad. And, um, you know, hopefully as this goes along, uh, just like with the gang stalking and the torture that we, uh, what many more people have died from gang stalking, I hope that, um, you know, uh, our torture will slow down because of this coronavirus. But um, I just don't, I really... I don't know. It's just so sad and so tragic. Um, it is. I've been to Spain, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful country. Yes, it is. Um, Spain is a beautiful country. They are the second hardest hit country in Europe. They have 39,000 confirmed cases and 2,800 deaths as of Tuesday. And uh, it's the retirement homes. <laughs> There's 514 new deaths were registered in a 24-hour period, the worst increase since this whole thing began. And the retirement homes have been the ones that have been hit. Now, retirement homes, the people basically stay inside. They don't go anywhere. They stay there. So how is this infection getting into the retirement homes? The staff is not taking effective measures against the coronavirus. And they had a case in Madrid. They reported in a privately owned home in Madrid, they reported 20 deaths and 75 infections. And they claimed they didn't have 
the uh, wherewithal to take care of the sick residents and dead bodies. So once again, they left them uh, in the beds. And and they just left them there for days. So this is getting to the point where it's not civilized, okay? There's Uh no civility in this. Go ahead, Mm Marilyn. Yeah, yeah, hundreds of masks have been stolen in Portland, Oregon, and they have a shortage of health care workers. A Missouri man who was coughing told two store clerks he had a fever, he had a high fever. He was arrested after the police said he threatened to give the employees the coronavirus. People in Pennsylvania and Illinois were accused of similar crimes. Texas prosecutors brought charges against someone who was falsely claimed on social media to have tested positive or COVID-19. The COVID-19. And so this is um, paranoia. And, uh, you know, it is kind of like zombie, zombie fear-mongering. Um, to be on remote neural monitoring right now, uh, right now I'm being tortured by synthetic telepathy as I'm trying to um, understand w- what this epidemic is, this pandemic and, uh, you know, I just want to say, uh, I'm concerned about gang stalkers uh, and TRs. Uh, the relationship between uh, the victim, the targeted individual, and the gang stalkers that are doing a global mind control torture uh, warfare tactic on the planet. And, and I'm not clear about if this is a man made uh, bio weapon, COVID 19, but. These people that are gang stalking us are not the cleanest people, um, as you know. M- many gang stalkers are not clean. They're not sober. They're not intelligent. They're not patriots. They're the they're the criminals of the country. They're, and, and Spain has a large uh, problem with gang stalking, and I'm concerned about the targeted individuals in Spain. And um, you know this this uh, stalking can um, can hurt us along with this virus uh, being uh, used. Uh, I mean, people are saying that people are being accused of putting it on people's doorknobs. Um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, that's insane. They've come up with uh, every scenario you can think of. One man put his finger in a woman's mouth and said, okay, now you've got it. So, I mean, we're acting uncivilized. And what they claim and what I am seeing is a pattern. And this is going to last for a long, long time. I learned in the very beginning of this, and I just heard it again today that people have been cured from the coronavirus only to be tested positive later on. This alarms me because this could be something that sticks with you forever. Um, Sort of like the AIDS virus. This is getting scary. This COVID-19, there are a lot of explanations that I need to have answered, and I'm going to dig until I get them. And that's the fact that before this came to the press, there were 147 countries present in Luhan, China. Why were they there? 147 countries. Were they there to help? It wasn't publicized. Were they trying to contain it? No one knows, but 147 countries were there. So, we have to, we can only speculate 
But I think this is the beginning of a mass containment of society. This is going to condition people to keep their distance. It's going to condition people to stay at home. It's going to condition people, period. What's the next part? The first one was 9-11. Part two, COVID-19. Now, what's part three? The Bilderberg Group? What is it? The country has, and just to get back to Spain, it has one of the longest life expectancies in the world. And I think in some of these homes, they represent 19% of the population overall. But most of them are in these homes. Unfortunately, like prisons, they're not going anywhere. So if someone in the prison group is not careful, they will infect an entire prison. And I'm seeing numbers like 5,400 people are in a prison. That will spread like wildfire. And it's not just taking the older people. It is taking younger people. It is taking kids. So In the very beginning, they treated this like a normal, regular flu that when it took people, it would take the very old and the very young. But it's taking everyone. So what do we do about this? Uh, At this point in time, we have to watch. But if they screw up, this country, the people, are going to blow up like a hydrogen bomb because we, the people, have had enough of this bullshit. And across the world, we have COVID-19 related crimes capitalizing on fear and panic. Would you like to comment, Marilyn? Um, this is, this is the, one of the biggest things ever. Uh, I often said that the uh, gang stalking was the biggest thing. Remote neural monitoring, synthetic telepathy is the biggest crime. Uh, this is, this is, looks like uh, biological warfare to me. Um, so... You know, the drug trafficking that's involved in my targeting, and I believe that the drug cartels are involved in gang stalking, um, I went to the police department to try to get these perps off of me. Um, I told them, I said, oh, by the way, you know, drug traffickers are involved in this this crime, and they're going to be going door to door, person to person, hand to hand, getting paper cash. Uh, giving people bags of drugs, going in and out of people's homes in Montgomery County here in Ohio and across the country and planet. Drug trafficking is very uh, strong in the in the, uh, the gang stalker gang stalking network, and they're going to spread this virus amongst themselves in the civilian population. And uh, I, I called many of the police departments in this area and told them. You should have that conversation with the police about COVID and uh, drug trafficking and how that's going to spread. Um, yeah, this, dirty needles uh, in a different co- way. Right. Well, and, and, and the cocaine, uh, using, uh, sharing straws and cocaine, inhaling. You don't know who's touched the powder cocaine, who's touched your crack cocaine. 
and then you're going to inhale it into your lungs, which is what COVID goes into your lungs, and um, you're going to hurt the, your neighbors uh, going into stores, touching, you know, so the drug, the drug addicted community is going to pass COVID. And I'm hoping that sobriety, cause, you know, I, I, I'm not interested, in, you know, uh, in, in drug trafficking. Hopefully this will get a lot of people sober and not, you know, um, yes. A lot of these bars, places where, um, you, you sell your drugs, as everybody knows. Um, so, you know, the prison population uh, is probably going to have a similar problem like the, the, the elderly, where they're probably going to get uh, neglected um, because people don't want to uh, catch the virus from the prisoners. So this is yeah, gonna, people this are is just going to split. This is going to be just, genocide. It looks like it's genocide. I, I can't prove this, and I don't want to spread a rumor that's not true. But I, I, I'm making a hypothesis that this is genocide. Okay, Marilyn, Bill Gates predicted a pandemic just like this in 2017. Now, there is a large organization that Bill Gates just joined. And it looks like it is the New World Order chiefs. It looks like they are coming out of the closet, finally, to take over their world, they think. But I will tell you something right now. Every individual in the United States and the world has had enough of their BS. We've had enough. Stay in. You can't go out. And granted, there is a pandemic. But they are telling us, and I just learned this, that this is going to go on into the year 21. And the reasoning behind this is people are going to come up with waves. They're going to be reoccurring waves of this virus. And we have to learn, and I think they already know, that this thing may hang on you. And I would like to know. And as far as vaccines, God, no, I, I don't think I could. Uh, I would rather take the coronavirus than one of their. Okay, we have to go to commercial, folks. Thank you, Marilyn. And thank my audience for listening. Thank you so much. Folks, we're living in a world the likes of which we've never perceived any clearer than we do now. The plan for global governance has been in the works for generations and would have likely been achieved by now, but for the fact that the globalists left open their Achilles heel. With all their tools, Federal Reserve System, fiat currency, no child left behind, and then common core education introduced to our schools to dumb us down, vaccines, pharmaceuticals to lobotomize us, GMO foods, insertion of compromised or bought and paid for politicians, judges, mainstream media propaganda, all pieced together like a puzzle designed to ultimately bring the world under submission. But with all their strategy, they forgot one thing, knowledge. And knowledge is power. With knowledge, their bombardment is nullified. Folks, with that, as brilliant and knowledgeable as you've become, among the wisest audience of any radio audience in the world, and you are, I want you to take a moment to reflect and ask yourself, how much of that knowledge did I obtain from Republic Broadcasting Network? How high has my consciousness been raised since I've been a listener? How fast am I now able to discriminate truth from fake news by being a Republic Broadcasting listener? 
how clear am I now able to see the world since I've been listening to RBN? Ask yourselves those questions, folks. Then ask yourself, what is that knowledge worth to me? Like my morning coffee, how would I survive without it? A voice of truth and a sea of lies. Do we not all need to make sure it survives? Like public broadcasting, we are now finding we can only survive with listener support. Censorship, advertisers being attacked, truth itself being attacked. It's the only way through this. We at Republic Broadcasting humbly ask you to become a supporter. Look at your budget and make a determination of what Republic Broadcasting is worth to you and what you can afford on a monthly basis. Go to republicbroadcasting.org and pledge 20, 30, 40, 50, if possible, 100 a month or more if it's affordable. Click the Donate button and become a regular monthly donor. Assure both us and yourself that Republic Broadcasting Truth will continue to flow like that morning coffee. The network thanks you. Here at Republic Broadcasting Network, we have been building our online store. While we have been focusing on bringing you the best talk show host in the country, here at Republic Broadcasting Network, we also want our listeners to have products they can use every day and in times of emergency. We have added new products each week to our store. Your support of this network, plus products at the best prices, is a win-win situation. Check out our new store. Go to our website, republicbroadcasting.org, and click on the online store located at the top of our website. Together, we can continue to grow RBN and help our listeners prepare for the future. Go to republicbroadcasting.org and click on our online store or call us. 800-724-2719, extension 3. 800-724-2719, extension 3. Good evening from Boston, Massachusetts. My name is Frank Allen. Tonight, Marilyn and I are discussing crimes across the globe related to the COVID-19 virus. We have facilities that are totally unprepared to handle this type of disease. We have health care people deserting patients in countries like Spain. Deserting people and letting them die for which they will be brought to justice and prosecuted. We have people selling phony coronavirus pandemic kits, vaccine kits, for $4.95. Of course, naturally, they were shut down. If you see any type of people violating your rights or the rights of others, Call your attorney general in your state. If you look on your state's website or call, I'm sure they'll be more than happy to take the information from you. And we we have thieves that are stealing surgical masks and COVID-19 test kits. Hate groups are encouraging sick members to infect law enforcement officers. 
imposters pose as public health officials. Con artists peddle fake cures in financial scams. I was almost victimized by one today. As the coronavirus pandemic continues, transgressions that actually move on fear, panic, and the urge to lay blame add to the burden on law enforcement. So our public officials are being overburdened everywhere. I thought to myself, inaccurately, that this would be more of a break for law enforcement to catch up and to really take a close look at what's going on. But that's not the case. They are so overburdened, they can barely take care of themselves. And it's getting to the point of civility being flushed right out of the country. And this is the United States of America, the strongest country in the world, the most civilized country in the world. And China and Iran are extremely guilty of falsely reporting on the progress of the coronavirus in their country. Iran refuses outside intervention, although they know nothing of what to do. So we are going to have a country that's possibly 100% infected by this. So we have to watch very closely and see what happens. And if it looks like the virus has vacated, I'm not going to say guess again. I'm going to look and I'm going to wait. And we'll see if one of these waves that they're talking about, in fact, comes back. Because they want to keep us in a bullied, bashed down, locked up society. Thank you for listening, folks. Thank you, Marilyn. You are tuned in to the Republic Broadcasting Network. Visit our website by going to republicbroadcasting.org. Is the Second Amendment your line in the sand? Is the United States Constitution important to you? Are you worried about gun confiscation? You need to join us for free at gunconfiscation.com. At gunconfiscation.com, you will meet like-minded patriots, get the latest Second Amendment news, and find anything you need to prepare for gun confiscation. Visit gunconfiscation.com today. That's gunconfiscation.com. Which side are you on? Talk Right, the conservative app offered by TalkStream Live that caters exclusively to the conservative talk radio community. Here you'll see only talk shows and podcasts from the conservative right, all the big broadcast names and online digital shows in one place. Talk Right makes it easy to find all your favorite conservative talkers with all the upscale features you come to expect from TalkStream Live. Keep up with the fast-paced political world. Download Talk Right today from Google Play or the App Store. 
How healthy are your arteries? Deteriorating circulation has a number of early warning signs. High cholesterol, high blood pressure, fingers and or toes often go cold, arms and or legs often go to sleep, sharp diagonal crease in the earlobe, short walks cause cramping or pains in legs, memory is not as good as it used to be, ankles swell late in the day, chest pain after physical exercise or emotional stress. If you experience even one of these symptoms, your circulatory system is crying out for attention. Extendivite is a natural solution to help improve your overall health. Extendivite is not your average heart tonic. To order, call 1-877-928-8822 or visit heartdrop.com or find us on Amazon. Extend your life with Extendivite. How would you like to earn an extra $10,000 or more a month from the comfort of your home? We show you how to win with a home-based business opportunity. This could be one of the best financial decisions you ever make. Work from home, full-time or part-time. Plus, you'll never have to talk to anyone. Our professional sales team closes all your sales for you, and you keep 70% of all the sales made. You could be earning money while you're sleeping, shopping, working out, wherever you are, day or night. Our system goes to work for you. You can make a great income without any special computer skills or sales training. Plus, you get paid fast. Within just 24 to 48 hours after our professional sales team closes a sale for you, let us help you eliminate your financial concerns. You could be earning enough money to pay off debt, buy a house, a car, or whatever the case may be. We've got you covered. If you'd like to add an extra $10,000 or more a month to your portfolio, and you would like to know exactly what we're doing and how we're doing it, go now to www.getstartedwithus.com. That's www.getstartedwithus.com. Again, that's www.getstartedwithus.com. Massachusetts. Tonight, Marilyn and I report on the atrocities across the globe in the midst of COVID-19. I just wanted to mention that if you're living in New York and you are having serious problems, here is an email address that's very easy for you to write down. Their email is civil dot rights at ag dot ny dot gov. Once again, civil dot rights at ag dot New York, ny.gov. So it's ag.ny.gov. So, any problems in New York? There is also a hotline. The number is 1 800 771 7755. I don't know how the government is staffed in New York right now. But this number and email address are one day old. So I imagine you will get results. Marilyn, would you care to comment? Could you repeat the last sentence you just said, please? Oh, 
I just said that the information I just gave, uh, the phone number and the email address, are just one day old. So I imagine okay. you will get a response. Right. New York City, I used to live in Manhattan. I lived in Harlem in the Lower East Side, and I lived in Brooklyn. And um, that is not going to be, a, that's going to be, um, it's like 9-11. Uh, that's horrid. That city, my God. Um, <clears throat> between 9-11, the blackout, uh, that was supposedly the state that I am in, Ohio. Uh, I lived there during the blackout. That was for those th- three days. No, no electricity, <clears throat> no lights. And um, now this uh, virus in, in Manhattan. I mean, my God, whoever is behind all of these uh, crimes against humanity. It's just, it's just amazing. I wonder what it's going to take people, especially in America, to get, if this doesn't get, after this is over, if this doesn't get you off your ass to look at, at, at these people that are, that are terrorizing us with these fake diseases like Ebola, um, AIDS, this, uh, it's just, I can't, I, I can't understand uh, what what do you think it will take for us to get control of the people that are bad? Like, we have to actually act as police against our own people. These people that are gang-stalking us, now, now we're not going to be able to really get any attention because of the COVID. But in addition, the, the microwave weapons that are pushed onto our bodies across the planet in this network, that breaks down your immune system. It makes you vulnerable to, to viruses. Um, I've been trying to tell people that if you're a TI or a non-TI, you're probably being microwave pulsed, and this breaks down your immune system and makes you, um, a, you know, a little bit weaker than the average person. So I, I, we're going to have to try to still push uh, back against these gang stalkers uh, because they're still going to be terrorizing us during this pandemic. And uh, for all the people in New York, God bless you. Um, I'm so sorry. It's horrible. And to be trapped in those apartments, you, you know what it's like to live in a city. I mean, one of the things that you, you the reason why you can tolerate living in a city like that is because you're going to go outside. To be told that you can't go outside in New York, that is hell. And then you can't get physical contact from your neighbors and the community. That's even worse, that, it, that touching people could kill you in a place like that. You know, there's a lot of good people that live in New York. So that's unfortunate. Yes, it is. In Jackson, Mississippi... They will not change their arrest policy amid COVID-19 outbreak. And they are going through hell, as you said, with drug trafficking. They had two drug arrests, both during traffic stops. Three pounds of crystal meth worth like 20 grand firearms so one got charged with drug trafficking Jackson police charged another man whose vehicle contained $5,000 to 10 in uh, marijuana edibles candies and cookies with the possession marijuana? Yeah. I'm candies sorry and- if you are smoking marijuana if you're buying marijuana and smoking it during COVID-19 and then hanging out, you know, I'm going to try not to curse. If you are involved in being an addict and trafficking during COVID-19, they should drop. We should bring back some of these laws. The addicts are going to be a problem for us because they're going to be going around in our communities and spreading this stupid virus and inhaling. If you are doing crystal meth 
during COVID-19. You can't no. control yourself. They're, they're encouraging it. They're encouraging people to infect police officers. And this person had $10,000 in marijuana edibles. Do you believe that? Candies and cookies. So he got charged with possession of marijuana and designer drugs. So I guess candies and cookies are considered designer drugs with intent to distribute. Um, so we've got a lot of people breaking the law like that. Um, I think if I was a police officer, I wouldn't have seen that. Um, uh, if you know what I mean, I would have, uh, that's going to somebody that's going to help them probably get through this. I, I just would have let it go, but you know, then yeah, I I mean, you, we were, we're going to need the cops. The cops are, gonna, are basically going to be doing patrols across the country. You know, to make sure people are off the street. The cops are walking through Spain, and the cops are going to be very vulnerable. I am not anti-police. I do not want to live in a country where we don't have police. I know that we've had some bad experiences in our country with the police departments, but the last thing you want is uh, a bunch of people running wild, and we don't have, our cops are going to be too scared to come out and help us. Well, they'll come um, out. This is the because... time to be clean and sober. I mean, physically oh. clean, clean up your homes, clean your cars out, be clean, avoid contact with people. I don't, it, it, I don't know the truth about the virus, but now is not the time to be selfish and pretend like this is not happening. Yes. We don't need and dying cops. We need... Uh, an, it, I read something the other day that was interesting that said... If you are a police officer and you pull somebody over, when they roll down the window, like say they have the heat on, there's going to be a pressure wave of whatever is in the car that's going to hit you in the face. You don't want it to be Corona, uh, COVID-19. So it said for the police officers to back away from the window until they um, had a chance to air out, shall we say. But they're going to be handling um, registrations, licenses. They should be changing rubber gloves with each stop. And, and uh, you know, when they have police officers that are infected, they are saying in Hartford, Connecticut, that they don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> right. And, you know, the glove idea is great. And um, I just want to say just a little bit of humor. <laughs> We I'm a very it. serious person. A little bit of, I live in Kettering in Dayton, Ohio. We have some of the most attractive police officers. I have never, when the Ku Klux Klan march was here in Dayton, Ohio, I was downtown, and I passed out flyers about gang stalking to, to line up a cops. And I was like, my God, you guys are all handsome. Uh, do you intentionally hire, like, you know, like athletes? You know how they... I think mean, I said athletes are really attractive, and it's, I don't think it's a coincidence that they get attractive athletes. I think they're doing that in Ohio. There's a lot <laughs> I don't want a bunch of dead, cute cops, you know? They're cute yeah. here. I don't know about Boston, but our cops are cute. Well, they have Anyway, more, wear your gloves. <laughs> they will get more respect. Uh, it's human nature. If somebody looks really sharp, they're going to get more respect. Uh, if they're sharply dressed, it, uh, boots, uh, like the state police in Massachusetts. I mean, they're dressed like they just came out of a police store, if you will. And that's the way they are. They present themselves one way, authoritatively, and that's what they project. So, you yeah, are they have to clean their cars out. The same with the first responders. Um, even even we have to clean our cars. Uh, my God, you know everybody be happy and stay away from each other. <laughs> you know, yeah. have a positive attitude when you see your neighbor across the street. Just wave. You know, you just wave at everybody. Hello, you know. Um, 
Marilyn? Drive by your mom's house. Don't go in and just wave. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, how many people in this audience believe that this is possibly airborne by proxy? Uh, do you think it's possible that an airplane flew over New York and chemtrailed it with this virus? Do you think that's possible? Well, you know something? It looks like it is. Because this thing is spreading to places where people haven't moved for years. And they're getting it. So what are they getting it from? The ground? Well, yeah, that's probably it. They get it from the ground, go in the house, take their boots off, and there you have it. So I'm not convinced that that it's airborne naturally, but it might be airborne by intent. What do you think? Uh, well, after being um, witnessing uh, so many false flags, yeah, I thought that. I was gardening today, and I just kind of thought, you know, this is on the ground, uh, on my tools. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, the bottom of your shoes, I've been concerned about that. And if they're doing a chemtrail spray on us across the planet, then, then that's the military and the industrial complex. It's the Air Force. The same uh, crooked people behind 9-11 and the same crooked... I mean, that's a drone going into 9-11. The chemtrails, that's the military. Gang stalking is the military. Uh, or these contractors... Uh, biological warfare is the military-industrial complex. They're scientists. Um, our military might be worse uh, than we think. Our yes. Air Force. Uh, and then we have the prevailing westerlies, which are continually blowing from west to east across the country. And maybe they just ran out of gas at New York. But I'm telling you, these areas look like they were hand-picked. If you hit New York with a large virus or something like this, it's a problem. You've got all these tall buildings with how many people uh, that are going to walk out on the street and run into another person? You know New York. It's like, oh, get the hell out of my way, you know, and uh, they're everywhere, you know. So it's quite conceivable to me that this was passed on intentionally. I hate to accuse that of my government who knocked down two, three beautiful buildings in New York and killed over 3,000 people and counting. So, right, and, see, and, and, and see, that, 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 that event, uh, I think they proved that it was a direct energy weapon that did that, along with some, you know, like the first responders said that they heard bombs go off. Um, but this microwave global network system could be part of this where they're going to break down our immune system with radiation, and then... Bring out a virus. Bring out uh, the the uh, Japanese Fukushima. Bring out more radiation into the ocean. Um, this is, you know, I know that I know we as Americans we're spoiled, but we we are we thinking are. critically. We are spoiled uh, rotten, and you know why? Uh -huh. All the wars that have happened. The closest we got to the wars was the first televised war, the war in Vietnam. That's mm -hmm. as close as we got. Okay, we have to go to commercial. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, form your opinions, please. Thanks. 
Hey, honey, I'm home. I grabbed a newspaper on the way home. Look at all the news today. Don't you know that all you're going to get in the newspaper is propaganda, twisted news, and false information? Honey, this is a national newspaper. It has to be true. Ha! For some reason, the majority of the population believe anything the mainstream media tells them. The newspaper doesn't give out the important attention of what's happening to this country and news that affects our daily lives. Say, does that newspaper mention anything about the North American Union? No, not that I can see. I didn't think so. You need to go to www.newswithviews.com, where truth is more important than political correctness. That's www.newswithviews.com. Hey, don't throw that away. We can use that in the birdcage. Okay, move over. Let me start reading newswithviews.com. The truth? Read all about it at newswithviews.com. Newswithviews.com, where reality shatters illusion. Homeowners, are you in foreclosure, expecting to be served with a foreclosure lawsuit, or suspect your lender has coerced you into an illegal mortgage transaction? A huge number of mortgages made in the last 10 years have legal issues and are possibly defective. State laws and the U.S. Supreme Court have upheld that defective mortgage documents are grounds for foreclosure defense and for counterclaims in favor of the homeowner. If your mortgage has been sold or assigned since closing the loan, it may be defective and you may be paying the wrong party and the lender may not have standing or the right to foreclose or collect payments under the law. If you would like to know if your mortgage is legal or not or know if you are paying the right party, we can help. Our initial consultations are free of charge. We are not attorneys. We are legal researchers and work closely with experienced lawyers who know how to help you find the evidence to help you keep your home. Call toll-free 1-855-2-KEEP-IT. That's 1-855- the number 2, keep it today. Many people write us about their experience with Extendivite. Allow me to read you some from Amazon.com. This product is superb. I have been taking it for about a year now, and I can feel my cardiovascular system run like a Swiss watch. I definitely recommend this product for anyone that has high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and heart palpitations, A+. It's potent, but it works. I have been waking up for the past three years with numb hands, and a week into using Extendivite, my numb hands seem to have cleared up. My circulation was off, and now it's back on track. So I'm happy. I feel so energized, and I have my husband on it now. My mother-in-law has cholesterol problems, so I bought her a bottle as well. Thank you so much. Love the product. Tell us your story. Get Extendivite today. Call 1-877-928-8822 or visit heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extendivite. My name is Frank Allen, and tonight, Marilyn and I have been discussing the atrocities, not only from COVID-19, but from the Twin Towers. So what's next, folks? I saw shelves in stores with nothing on them. Nothing. Nothing. Anywhere. I saw bags all over the floor. You know what it looked like? It looked like a looting. It didn't look like a grocery store. It happened to be a Walmart. It wasn't stocked. The owner of Walmart pledged to have his stores all stocked. I saw empty shelves. Nothing in the store, in the food section. Well, at this time, uh, Marilyn, why don't you take a poke at this? Uh, I have had a yeah, note. The, yeah, see, um, there's, been, there's been a lot of these uh, events where people go to the uh, to the stores and take everything and hoard it. America is a greedy, pig-like country. 
Okay. And um, unfortunately, you know, they have uh, got us conditioned to be consumers. That, that's how we will uh, get um, our emotional serotonin push, you know. And I'm, I'm a victim of that also. You know, I like shoes. I compulsively buy shoes. But um, at least I walk in them. I do. I think about other people when I shop. So I, I, I'll just tell you, there's in, in Kroger's, we have a Kroger's, and they had uh, almonds that were normally $5 a bag. Um, they were like a dollar. So me and my friend started grabbing a lot of them, and I, I said, no, we need to leave some of them because there's going to be there's going to be someone who loves almonds just as much as we do. Okay, so we can't take all the almonds. You know, how true is that? Well, no, I don't believe that is that true, but during a crisis, I mean, you just think about the, the houses that did that to us. No. Um, took all the all the bleach, took all the toilet paper, took all of the hand sanitizers, and didn't think about the rest of the family. <laughs> what about that it's toilet disgusting. paper? How many rolls of toilet paper do you need? I mean, I, you know, I saw people coming out of there with, like, two baskets full of just toilet paper. Okay, we're coming up on um, the end of the show, and I'd like to thank you, Marilyn, very much. And uh, yeah. I'd like to thank my audience, and like I'd like to say good night from Boston, Massachusetts. God bless you all. Right, the conservative app offered by TalkStream Live that caters exclusively to the conservative talk radio community. Here you'll see only talk shows and podcasts from the conservative right. All the big broadcast names and online digital shows in one place. TalkRight makes it easy to find all your favorite conservative talkers with all the upscale features you come to expect from TalkStream Live. Keep up with the fast-paced political world. Download TalkRight today from Google Play or the App Store. Broadcasting Network, late night, premiere show of a Red Pill Hardcore is hosted by activists that want to hear from you. The listeners, so that you can get involved in the activism, please call in at 800-313-9443 at 10 p.m. to enter the discussion. To book yourself as a guest, call our studio at 202-657-5715 or contact RBN staff. Remember, keep it real and take the Red Pill. This is RBN, the Republic Broadcasting Network.